Yo, what's up everybody, it's Mizan, and today we're diving headfirst into the heart of paradise. Phuket, Thailand. This place is insane, beautiful beaches, incredible food, and vibrant culture. It's no wonder everyone wants a piece of this tropical pie. But with so many incredible places to choose from, deciding where to park yourself can be a bit overwhelming. But don't trip, that's what we're here for. In this video, we're breaking down the best areas to stay in Phuket, so you can find your own slice of paradise. Let's do this! First up, we're hitting up Naiharn Beach, tucked away in the south of Phuket. This place is all about peace and tranquility. Picture this, powder soft sand, crystal clear water, and lush green hills in the background. It's the kind of beach you dream about, you know, the one you see on postcards and instantly want to teleport to. And the best part, it's way less crowded than some of the other spots on the island. From December to April, the snorkeling and diving here is off the charts. You can explore vibrant coral reefs and swim alongside colorful tropical fish. It's like jumping into a real-life aquarium. If you're looking for a place to chill, unwind, and reconnect with nature, Nyharn is your spot. Just don't come here expecting a crazy nightlife or a ton of shopping because it's all about the chill vibes here. Now, let's talk about Bangtao Beach, a six kilometer stretch of pure paradise on Phuket's west coast. This place is the definition of luxury. We're talking world-class resorts, first-class restaurants, and beach clubs that wouldn't be out of place in Ibiza. But don't let the fancy vibes fool you. Bangtao still has that laid back beach town charm. From May to November, Bangtao transforms into a surfer's paradise. The waves are perfect for both beginners and experienced shredders. So, whether you're a seasoned pro or just trying to catch your first wave, Bangtao has got you covered. One thing to keep in mind is that things are pretty spread out here. You'll probably want to rent a scooter or grab a taxi to get around. And if you're a night owl, you might find Bangtao a bit too chilled out after dark. Next up, we're heading to Surin Beach, a haven for the rich and famous. This place is all about exclusivity and relaxation. Imagine this, sipping on a cocktail as the sun melts into the ocean, painting the sky in a kaleidoscope of colors. That's Surin Beach in a nutshell. It's the kind of place where you can spend your days lounging on pristine beaches, indulging in gourmet meals, and browsing through high-end boutiques. If you're looking for a place to truly escape, Surin is calling your name. But be warned, this level of luxury comes at a price. Surin is definitely one of the more expensive areas in Phuket. And if you're an adrenaline junkie looking for non-stop action, you might want to look elsewhere. Surin is all about soaking up the sun and enjoying the finer things in life. Chapter 4. Kamala Beach. Authentic Thai charm. All right, let's switch gears and check out Kamala Beach, a hidden gem on Phuket's west coast. This place is all about experiencing the real Thailand. Kamala is a world away from the glitz and glamour of some of Phuket's other beaches. Here, it's all about soaking up the local culture, trying authentic Thai food, and enjoying a more laid-back atmosphere. You'll find family-run restaurants serving up delicious curries and seafood, and the prices are way more budget-friendly than in other parts of Phuket. From May to November, Kamala is another great spot to catch some waves. The surf here is a bit more mellow than in Bangtao, making it a good option for beginners. One thing to note is that Kamala is pretty quiet, especially at night. If you're looking for a wild party scene, this isn't the place. But if you're all about embracing the local vibes, Kamala is a great choice. Chapter 5. Karen Beach, Relaxed Beach Vibes now, let's talk about Karen Beach, another one of Phuket's longest beaches. This place is all about kicking back and relaxing. Karen is the kind of place where you can spend your days lounging on the beach, swimming in the turquoise water, and reading a good book. It's the perfect spot to escape the hustle and bustle of everyday life. You'll find plenty of budget-friendly restaurants and bars along the beach, making it a good option for travelers on a budget. And if you're looking for souvenirs to take home, Karen has got you covered. One thing to keep in mind is that Karen isn't really known for its nightlife or high-end dining. It's more about enjoying the simple pleasures of a beach vacation. Chapter 6. Patong Beach, the heart of the action. 
All right, it's time to talk about the elephant in the room, Patong Beach. This place is Phuket's party central, and it's not for the faint of heart. Patong is where you come to experience Phuket's wild side. We're talking go go bars, nightclubs that stay open until dawn, and a never ending stream of tourists. It's chaotic, it's loud, it's in your face, and some people absolutely love it. If you're looking for an adrenaline rush, Patong is the place to be. But be warned, it's not for everyone. The beaches in Patong are beautiful, but they're also the most crowded on the island. And if you're looking for a peaceful and relaxing vacation, you might want to steer clear. Chapter 7. Phuket Town, A Taste of History Let's take a break from the beaches for a bit and explore Phuket Town, the island's cultural heart. This place is all about history, heritage, and authentic Thai life. Phuket Town is a world away from the beaches. Here, you'll find colorful Sino-Portuguese architecture, bustling markets, and temples adorned with intricate carvings. It's a place where you can wander through narrow streets, soak up the local atmosphere, and experience a different side of Phuket. You'll find some amazing local restaurants in Phuket Town, serving up authentic Thai food at local prices. And if you're looking for unique souvenirs, the markets in Phuket Town are the place to be. Just be prepared for some serious traffic if you're driving around Phuket Town. Chapter 8. Rawai Beach Seafood and Island Hopping Now, let's head south to Rawai Beach, a world away from the crowds. This place is all about fresh seafood, local life, and island hopping. Rawai is a working beach, which means you'll see long-tail boats bobbing in the water and fishermen bringing in their catch of the day. It's a great place to experience a more authentic side of Phuket. The Sea Gypsies Fish Market is a must-visit in Rawai. You can pick out your own fresh seafood and have it cooked right there in front of you. And if you're feeling adventurous, you can hop on a long-tail boat and explore the nearby islands. One thing to note is that Rawai isn't really a swimming beach. The water is quite shallow and there are a lot of boats around. But if you're looking for a unique experience and some of the best seafood on the island, Rawai is worth checking out. Chapter 9 Mai Kau Beach, Tranquility and Nature Let's head north to Mai Kau Beach, Phuket's longest beach and a haven for peace and quiet. This place is all about escaping the crowds and reconnecting with nature. Mai Kau is home to Siranat National Park, where you can hike through lush forests, explore hidden waterfalls, and spot exotic wildlife. It's the perfect place to escape the crowds and experience Phuket's natural beauty. If you're looking for a place to relax and recharge, Mai Kau is the perfect spot. But be warned, it's pretty remote. You'll definitely need your own transportation if you're staying here. Chapter 10, Kata Beach, something for everyone. Last but not least, let's talk about Kata Beach, a popular spot for families and couples. This place has a little something for everyone. Kata Beach is all about that classic beach vacation vibe. You've got beautiful beaches, clear blue water, and plenty of restaurants and shops to keep you entertained. From May to November, Kata Beach is another great spot for surfing. The waves here are a bit more challenging than in Kamala, making it a good option for intermediate surfers. One thing to note is that Kata can get pretty crowded, especially during peak season. But if you're looking for a fun and lively beach vacation, Kata is a great option. Otro find your perfect Phuket. So there you have it, a whirlwind tour of the best areas to stay in Phuket. From the secluded beaches of Naiharn to the party central of Patong, there's a perfect spot for every type of traveler in this island paradise. Remember, the best area for you depends on your own travel style and what you're looking for in a vacation. So do your research, pack your bags, and get ready to experience the magic of Phuket. Don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel for more travel tips and guides, and let me know in the comments below which area you're most stoked to explore. Safe travels, everyone!